The point of having new characters is to not promote other companies' games. The point of having new characters is to get fans of those characters to buy this game. You can try to prove otherwise, but there is just no instance where Smash Brothers has helped a game or series sell better. Fire Emblem is a series that Sakurai has desperately tried to turn into a success ever since Super Smash Bros. Melee. Tell me, does a series that has only sold over 10 million copies over the span of nearly 30 years really warrant a total of 7 characters in Smash Bros.? People say that, oh, Sakurai is the reason why Fire Emblem became so successful. Even though Fire Emblem Awakening could have been the last Fire Emblem game ever because sales were so poor. Even though Fire Emblem came to the rest of the world in 2002, it wasn't until 2012 in which the series actually surpassed sales expectations. Fire Emblem Awakening was a hit, basically because many consumers got to try the game out via a demo on the 3DS eShop, and it was one of the very first games that Nintendo actually allowed a demo of, because in the past, they weren't proponents of playable demos at all. Around that time, though, they changed their stance. People liked what they played, and so they bought Fire Emblem Awakening. Only recently did I find out that Fire Emblem Fates outsell Fire Emblem Awakening, but that was where it peaked. Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valencia suffered a huge drop in sales, and Fire Emblem Warriors only reportedly sold just 1 million copies. And here I was told that Fire Emblem was becoming one of Nintendo's major IPs. And meanwhile, Splatoon's only two games outsold Fire Emblem in its entire lifetime. And then along comes Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I can't count how many times I heard. Oh, Dark Samus is in the game to promote the upcoming Metroid Prime 4. Oh, Isabel is in the game to promote Animal Crossing next year. To those people, I say, what are you talking about? Inkling, and Ridley and King K. Rool and all the other newcomers are simply in the game to sell fans on buying the game. Isabel is in Super Smash Bros. to promote nothing but Super Smash Bros. It doesn't make a difference whether or not there is going to be a new Animal Crossing game. Animal Crossing New Leaf for 3DS has sold 12 million copies, why does this series need help selling copies from Smash Bros.? And the same thing goes for Metroid. Why can't Nintendo just properly market the game like they marketed other games? This just doesn't add up to me. When you think of it, there are many different IPs from Nintendo that didn't need some Smash Bros. promotion. Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, Splatoon, Animal Crossing, you know. I don't need to explain. Sakurai just misses the mark if he thinks that adding characters to Smash Bros. would all of a sudden make that series more popular, like Bayonetta. Such a fan favorite that only sold 5 million copies lifetime. And that's probably why Nintendo officials step in to choose the DLC characters this time around. Nintendo probably told him, we can't let you choose these characters. We'd rather sell this game more than try to sell other companies' games. So am I wrong? What other IP did I seem to forget? Let me know in the comments sections below.